Hello, you're watching the Auto Advisor channel. Have you ever wondered how the common rail system in modern diesel engines work? Let's dive right in. The common rail is a direct fuel injection system that's become a staple in today's diesel engines. It's an intricate setup comprising of a high-pressure fuel rail and solenoid valves, quite a leap from the older low-pressure fuel pump systems. The pressure we're talking about is over 2,000 bar or 200 MPA or 29,000 PSI. So why this shift to high pressure? Well, it comes down to power and fuel consumption. High pressure injection allows the fuel to be injected as a larger number of small droplets, creating a higher surface area to volume ratio. This facilitates improved vaporization from the surface area of the fuel droplets and a more efficient combination of atmospheric oxygen with the vaporized fuel, leading to more complete combustion. Now that we understand what common rail is and how it operates, let's delve into its advantages. Why do modern diesel engines prefer the common rail system? What are its advantages? Let's dive right into it. The common rail system boasts a number of critical advantages that make it a desirable choice for today's diesel engines. A key benefit is its ability to improve fuel economy. This is achieved through optimized combustion, which simply means that the system is designed to burn fuel more efficiently. This optimized combustion also contributes to lower emissions, reducing the environmental impact of diesel engines. In an era where sustainability is a growing concern, this makes the common rail system a more eco-friendly option. But that's not all. The common rail system also presents a greater degree of flexibility in controlling the injection process. It allows for changes in the injection pressure, duration, and even the number of injection pulses, all depending on the engine's operating conditions. This flexibility enables the system to adapt and respond effectively to different situations, enhancing the overall performance of the engine. Now let's talk about noise and vibration, two factors that often contribute to a less than ideal driving experience. The common rail system addresses these issues head on. Thanks to the use of pre-injection and post-injection techniques, peak gas pressure is reduced, leading to a decrease in engine noise. Additionally, these techniques also accelerate the heating of the catalytic converter, which further aids in reducing emissions. In summary, the advantages of the common rail system are numerous, from improving fuel economy and reducing emissions, to offering flexibility in controlling the injection process and reducing noise and vibration, it's clear why this system is the preferred choice for modern diesel engines. However, like any technology, the common rail system has its share of problems, but we'll get into that in the next scene. Stay tuned. What are some potential issues that might arise with the common rail system, you may ask? Well, like any technology, the common rail system is not without its challenges. Let's delve into some of these problems. Firstly, the common rail system is known for its high cost and complexity. The system is made up of expensive components, including a high pressure pump, rail, injectors, and an electronic control unit. These components not only increase the overall cost of the system, but also add to the complexity of its operation and maintenance. This significantly raises the barrier to entry for smaller manufacturers and increases the cost for the end users. Next, there's a heightened sensitivity to fuel quality. The common rail system has increased requirements for fuel purity and properties. This means that the fuel used must meet certain standards to ensure the system can operate efficiently. Regular filter changes are also required to maintain these standards. If these requirements are not met, it can lead to a decrease in engine performance and even potential damage to the system. Lastly, let's talk about the risk of component damage. The high fuel pressure and temperature within the system can lead to wear and tear on the components over time. Additionally, there's also the risk of air or water entering the system. If this occurs, it could cause significant damage, potentially leading to a system failure. So the common rail system, while highly efficient and beneficial in many ways, does come with its own set of challenges. It requires a significant investment, both in terms of initial cost and ongoing maintenance. It demands high quality fuel and regular maintenance to ensure its performance, and it carries the risk of component damage due to its operating conditions. Despite these challenges, the common rail system has a fascinating history and is widely used today. It stands as a testament to the relentless pursuit of efficiency and performance in the world of automotive engineering. Did you know the first common rail system was developed in the late 1960s? Yes, you heard that right. 
The innovative technology that's now integral to modern diesel engines was first conceived over 50 years ago. Swiss engineer Robert Huber is the genius behind this invention. He laid down the groundwork for this high-pressure fuel injection system. But that's not where the story ends. The system was later perfected by Dr. Marco Ganser at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich. It's remarkable to think of the evolution from this initial concept to the highly sophisticated systems we see today. Now, let's take a quick trip to East Germany in the mid-1980s. This is where the first common rail diesel engine found its home in a passenger car, no less. The MN106 engine, a pioneering creation from VEB Euphor Motorenwerke Nordhausen, was installed in an IFAW50. That historic moment marked a new chapter for passenger cars, ushering in an era of improved fuel efficiency and reduced emissions. Fast forward to the present day and you'll find the main suppliers of modern common rail systems leading the pack. Companies like Bosch, Delphi Technologies, Denso and Siemens VDO, now owned by Continental AG, are at the forefront of this technology. They're continuously innovating and refining, pushing the boundaries of what's possible with common rail systems. And where are these systems used? You'll find them in a vast array of vehicles. From compact city cars like the Fiat Panda, perfect for navigating bustling urban streets, to executive cars like the Audi A8, designed for comfort and luxury on long drives. The common rail system powers them all, providing optimized combustion and unparalleled flexibility in controlling the injection process. So next time you're in a diesel car, remember it's the common rail system making your journey smooth and efficient.